Alright, welcome back to New Zero Land. Today, we're going to upgrade the charging on Jez's bike, Max. And yes, if you were wondering, this is an Electro Wrap shirt. Dude's awesome, rides an Alta. Go follow his channel. Alright, let's get back to talking about Zeros. So a couple months back, you guys might remember when Jez bought the DSR, he really wanted a charge tank for it. Because sitting around at cafes for hours while your gas buddies go off on rides without you sucks a lot. But to install a charge tank, you need a firmware update. And down here on the bottom of the world, we can't do that kind of thing. So the only way to make this happen was go aftermarket. While I was back in California, I picked up some used DigiNow chargers. Shout out to Harlan at Hollywood Electrics for hooking us up. Good old reliable version 2. You guys don't know, but I actually sold my chargers a few months ago. Full disclosure, I had so many problems getting mine to work in the pan that I just didn't want to deal with them anymore. So the difference with this install is that we're using a charge tank. Well, charge tank plastics at least. We're going to put the chargers under this so it'll look legit. Like it came straight from the factory. But it'll actually be more powerful than the Zero Charger. It's even got this fancy cap. Which is usually where the J port goes. But New Zealand doesn't use those and that's where this project gets interesting. Comparing both tanks, they kind of look like Batman's face, right? Something cool that we notice is that the charge tank is brand new. So it's painted instead of dyed. And it looks really shiny. It's a little bonus we didn't expect. As you can see, it's a lot higher in the front. It's like this for a few reasons. There are these air vents in the front to cool the chargers. And it's also a place to mount the charging port. And there's a whole new bracket you need to mount the front of the tank. But luckily, Harlan sent one of those too. This is the part number if you're curious. It sits like this on the bike. One difficult part about installing this mount is that it uses the same bolt holes as the helmet lock, so you have to remove that. And removing the helmet lock is a huge pain. Now let's get to the chargers. Jez is using two of these, so it's 6.6 .6 kilowatts. These chargers were already modified, so they don't have their little mounting points on the edges, and they fit super easy in the tank area. We put one heatsink in between the chargers, and then two more on the outsides. They're probably not going to keep the chargers any cooler, but it'll keep them from sliding around. As the Aussies say, fits like a finger in a bum. <laughs> 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 and then there are these four mini super high powered fans that somehow fit perfectly right on top of this heatsink. And we put the brain box thing right here. This way it's close to the back so the aux cables don't have to travel very far and the tank still clears it. Here's another test fit and no problem. Oh, <laughs> oh sweet tune. That was quite plain sailing, wasn't it? Yeah. Actually, Jez is taking the DSR down to the South Island for a road trip in the next couple weeks. And this setup is going to make that possible. Because the thing is, right, when there are charging stations everywhere, it's less about how much range you have. Everybody complains about electric range, but after riding for two hours, I'm okay taking a break. And if we can make that break as short as possible by recharging as quickly as possible, the gap between electric and gas becomes smaller. So that's what we're hoping to do with this charge tank upgrade. The only thing now is to make something you can plug into. Because so far, all we did was make Jez's bike heavier. Same as what Patrick did on my bike, we're going to use Nutrik inlets. Shout out to RS Components. I placed the order for these and they arrived on my desk from Australia in less than a day. There are a few good reasons to use Nutrik inlets. For one, they're small, they're light, and they're super easy to plug in. And making it so that we have access to the chargers individually is useful over here where you might want to use caravan cables at a campsite or you come across a three-phase station, but it's actually a single-phase station, you never know what kind of situations you'll run into. So this Sumitomo goes to the charger, and then these Andersons go to the J-port. But we're not using the J-port, and I hate Andersons. So those are gone. Now it'll go straight from the Sumitomo to the Nutrik. Super clean, simple, takes up less space. If anybody wants the J-port, let me know. I can mail it to you or something. And this beautiful work of art is the cable that Patrick made to work with this setup. Shout out to Patrick. The guy is a pro. Like, this is how you do a switch on a charging cable. So clean! Anyway, it goes from type 2 on one end to a bunch of Nutrik connectors on the other end. Depending on how many charges you have and what kind of station you're at. In New Zealand, you have to bring your own charging cable anyway, so you might as well have a fancy custom one. I had some leftover carbon fiber, so we made up a little mounting plate for the inlets, and we put it on top of the charge tank bracket. So the two Nutrik connectors will sit in here all stealthy. Pretty cool, right? How does it make you feel? Sexy. 
<laughs> but before bolting the tank back on and finalizing everything, we wanted to make sure the chargers worked. I pulled up PlugShare and found out there was actually an AC charging station right down the street. So we went over to investigate and it was actually a charge net station. Brand new charge net charger in Miramar on Miramar North Road. This is crazy. And the first time uh, we're gonna use it is with two zeros. I'm excited. <laughs> And then, oops. They look so industrial. Go over this guy, press the green button. Now the green button. It unlocks. It's kind of wet or whatever. Mm. Okay, but... okay, plugged in. Now the bike has to be on. Okay. Now you hit the switch. And it's charging. See the little green light? Yeah. How sexy is that? So. <laughs> fans. Fans. That means they're working. Woohoo! And you have a little charge thing on there. Oh, uh, yeah. So. And then it'll update. It takes a little while to ramp up. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Dude. So now, if you look at the dash, it says 47 minutes. Oh my god, that is so brilliant. That is so 47 minutes. That is amazing. <laughs> Welcome to fast charging. <laughs> so only when you guys go away, have your lunch, come back, and you've got like 90% or something like that. Yeah. And then you really like realise. So here's the final result. Max is like a brand new fast charging machine. So Jez wanted a charge tank on his bike and now he has one. Yay! Success. And next next week? Yeah, next week he's going to the South Island. So this DSR is going on a ferry and going on a road trip. Hi Cora. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.